Hi there. In this tutorial, you're going to learn about pre-flighting. What is pre-flighting? Is the process of evaluating a document for potential output issues in InDesign. So let's learn how to deal with it. While working on InDesign, if the software detects an error, you should be able to see it here on the status bar. If you click it, you'll see the pre-flight panel option that we'll get to in a minute. Let's find ourselves some errors for a proper understanding. So let's go to File and then Place and locate a document that I'd like to place. It's a text document in MS Word doc format and when we try to place this, we get this error. It's a missing font error, meaning that I do not have this font installed on my computer and it gives me these three options. Either I can replace the font with some other similar font that's installed on my computer, or I can enable this font on Adobe fonts, in which case the font will be installed on my computer. And lastly, I can just skip this error and see for myself what happens. So let's just skip this error and you'll find that my cursor is loaded with whatever text that document holds. Let's click once to have the text placed here and immediately you'll find that the pre-flight is showing me two errors now. I can even open the pre-flight panel from window. So let's go to window and then output and you'll find the pre-flight option under it. So click it to reveal the panel. Here you can see that there are two errors listed as we saw earlier on the status bar. If I click the first one that says overset text, it shows a subtext. So let's double click on it and you'll find the text frame gets selected. What is the problem? Well, you see the red plus button here. It's a way of InDesign telling us that there is more text that could not be accommodated into this text frame, hence this error. The moment we click the red plus button to load our cursor with the rest of the text, the error vanishes, and if I click the pasteboard to drop the text, you'll find that it still shows only one error. That's because whatever is on the pasteboard doesn't get printed. So yes, the additional text has been taken away from the frame on the document. Now, as long as you don't paste it back onto a proper document, InDesign does not concern itself with what happens to the text. So let's delete the text frame on the pasteboard, and the error shall return. We'll come back to this problem in a minute. Meanwhile, let's check error number two. We know the second error is the missing font, and that's the reason why the text has a pink highlighter all around. Let's do a Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC to select all. Now go to Fonts and pick a font of your choice. I'll pick Arial Narrow. And there you go. At least one error is solved permanently. And you shall also find that the moment you change the font, the pink highlighter will also vanish instantly. Let's open the Pages panel and let's add a few pages to our document. Now let's go to the first page and click the red button to load our cursor with the rest of the text. Now double click the page 2 thumbnail. If I straight away click the corner of page 2, you'll find my text will not flow into other pages but will stop at page 2 and the error will also persist. And that's not what I want. So let's do a Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a PC to undo the last action. This time, let's hold Shift and then click the corner of page two and see what happens. And you see how the text flows all the way to page four. And the best part is that now my document does not have any errors. Now, if I go to page 4 from the page's thumbnail and click the text frame on page 4 and hit delete, you'll find that the error returns. It's like a security mechanism of InDesign that assumes you must have deleted it accidentally and so it tries to save you from a sorry situation that might occur. So, what it does is, the moment you delete the text frame of page 4, it pushes all the text back to the previous page and triggers the error. But what if you really wanted to delete the last portion of the text? Let's have it back first. Let's click the red button and then click the corner of page 4 to get the text. Now double click the frame on page 4 so that you are able to type in or highlight the text. With the text highlighted, 
hit the delete key or the backspace key and this time this text will be gone for good. And there won't be any error as well. You can confirm this from the pre-flight panel that it is not showing any error of any kind now. So basically pre-flighting helps you monitor your documents as you're working to prevent problems from occurring and helps you in the long run. So do keep an eye on these errors and ensure to remove them before sending your work to the client. Alright guys, that is all for now. I hope you've enjoyed the session so you can take a coffee break and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.